Oh, good evening, everybody, and I hope you're all doing well. Um, uh, thank you for stopping in, and if you like, click the like button and subscribe if you'd like to. Uh, and I just welcome everybody to come in, and you can share my videos if you like. And that's okay. Christy Noem, N O E M, bans TikTok on state devices. South Dakota Governor Christy Noem, Republican, has signed an executive order banning TikTok, a Chinese social media app that has been accused of surveillance and manipulating of users from state government devices. After signing the executive order on Tuesday, Noem released a statement about her decision, asserting that South Dakota will have no part in the intelligence gathering operations of nations who hate us. The Chinese Communist Party uses information that it gathers on TikTok to manipulate the American people and they gather data off the devices that access the platform, she wrote. Noem's statement went on detail exactly which individuals and en entities would be covered by executive order entities. The order takes effect immediately and would apply to employees and agencies of the state of South Dakota, including persons and entities who contract with the state, commissions, and authorities or agents thereof, the statement read. The order prohibits downloading or using the TikTok application or visiting the website on state-owned or state-leased electronic devices capable of internet connectivity. Because of our serious duty to protect the private data of South Dakota citizens, we must take this action immediately. I hope other states will follow South Dakota's lead and the Congress should take broader action as well as Noem's statement concluded. The South Dakota governor is just the latest public official to speak out against TikTok over concerns of surveillance of American citizens. In early November, Federal Communications Commission's FCC Commissioner Brendan Carr advocated for a total ban on TikTok in the U.S. over privacy concerns. There simply is no world in which you could come up with sufficient protection on the data that you could have sufficient confidence that it's not finding its way back into the hands of the Chinese Communist Party, he said. In 2020, the Trump administration attempted to institute such a ban, which would have resulted in ByteDance, TikTok's parent company, divesting from the platform and an American company taking over. In mid-November, -no uh, FBI Director Christopher Wray, W-R-A-Y, Wray, noted that the Chinese social media app continues to be a national security concern. Meanwhile, Republicans have constantly uh, called out TikTok for various reasons, including election interference, Interference. Excuse me. Um, Scott Adams, the Delbert cartoonist and political commentator, has argued that the app could have actually helped Democrats win the midterms. The group of Americans that control the election outcome are the group of Americans that China controls through TikTok, he said later, adding, allowing TikTok, a Chinese company, I didn't know that, that they were a Chinese company, to be the primary channel for the most important group of voters in the United States. Do you see any problem there? Mm -hmm. Others such as Senator Marco Rubio, Representative of Florida, and uh, Representative Mike Gallagher of Wisconsin, Republican, argued for banning TikTok due to its censorship and because it is addicting for children. The two lawmakers have proposed legislation to ban the app. I think that would be a good idea. Leave me your thoughts. Well, let's go down here. I'm not quite sure what that one is. I don't want to go through that one. Uh, Ball and Siega, Siega, 
Balenciaga issues empty apology for dis dispicable ad despicable ad involving children. I'm going to click on this one. On Tuesday, Balenciaga, a high-end fashion brand, released an ad campaign that featured children holding BDSM teddy bears. Now, I have no idea what that BDSM is. I have no idea. Maybe it'll tell us further on in the article here. The ads also feature pictures of court documents referring to the child pornography Supreme Court case. A massive backlash against Balenciaga, Siaga, B A L E N C I A G A, Balenciaga hit social media platforms and was met with company silence. The company returned to Instagram today apologizing for the outrageous campaign. It apologized for putting children at the forefront of the ads alongside BDSM bears. The fashion brand noted that the photos were removed and apologized for unsettling documents shown in the campaign. They claim they are taking legal action against the ad creators. In an Instagram post, they said, We strongly condemn the abuse of children in any form. We stand for children's safety and well-being. The notion that Bella Siga were, were ignorant to the fact that their kitty BDSM photo shoot also featured a document relating to child porn is utterly absurd. Note how the company also left Twitter after Elon cracked down on child exploitation. The whole thing has become vile. The public has vital questions on whether or not the brand should be believed for the apology. Are they really sorry for the photos? Or are they sorry for the outrage and blowback? One Twitter user who closely investigated the images noticed the police tape in the ads contain the word B-A-A-L-E-N-C-I-A-G-A -A -A Balenciaga with the B-A-A-L being a Canaanite Dianity, D E I T Y, Dianity, that some believe require child sacrifice. This tape would have to be made by the company and approved. And that is spelled C A N A A N I T E, D E I T Y, Canaanite. Dientity that some believe require child sacrifice. This tape would have to be made by the company and approved. Oh my god. Corporations offer contract major ad agencies to execute ads for them in the marketing industry. Ad campaigns must go through an extensive approval process before release. The company either approved the entire ad or the contracted agency underhandedly released the advertisement while keeping the details secret. The latter is unlikely as the pieces are many. When they see the ad, most people would need to learn what they are looking at or what to look for. However, others online for self, certified experts at analyzing things, making it really hard for details to go unnoticed. Other details referencing an artist known for unsettling child cannibal paintings were featured in the Balasiga ads at top of the obvious. It is tough to believe that Bal Balan Saiga, Saiga didn't even experience some form of pause when reviewing the ad. And it's got a video up here. And it's a very... And it's a creepy ad, and it says so right up there. But it's a video, and I can't, don't know how to do that yet. But I wouldn't show it because, you know, even though I'm not um, putting my videos for children, 
Who knows, there may be some children watching. You don't know. You really don't know. But I, my videos are not for children. If they are for children, then I will specifically say so. Yes. But because of this, they seem to be attempting to put out their own fire. Bella Siga didn't even experience some form of pause when reviewing the ad. They didn't even pay attention to it. And it, it's a little disturbing. But I suppose kids could get Halloween costumes that look just about like that. So, oh my goodness, you just don't know. Now this one here, I'm not sure about either. House Ethics Committee investigating Democrat for soliciting impermissible gift. Huh? And I'm not even touching my de desktop yet. And it's still plump full. I'll get there. Hang on, people. Uh, Representative Carolyn Maloney, Democrat in New York, is under investigation by the House Office of Congregational Ethics of accuse, accusations that she allegedly solicited or accepted impermissible gifts. Accusations. Congregational Ethics of Accusations that she allegedly solicited or accepted impermissible gifts. Maloney, the Democrat chair of the House Oversight Committee is being probed for potentially attempting to use her political leverage to score tickets to the Ritzy Met Gala in 2016. I do have this one, but I don't think I posted it. But uh, I've got, uh, yeah, I have this one. The ethics panel voted anonymously in June to investigate after conducting interviews, reviewing emails from leaders of New York City's Metropolitan Museum of Art. This group puts on an annual fundraising ball, which is a major gathering of the rich, powerful, and fashionable. Former museum president Emily Rafferty sent an email to several museum executives that was revealed to, to the ethics office. The same Dem chair of the House Oversight Committee responsible for a bogus investigation into an NFL team for political reasons is now under ethics investigation herself. If Maloney wants to stop corruption, she should start by looking in the mirror. House Democrat under investigation were trying to score tickets to Mint Gala. She wasn't even invited. That's why there's, you know, yeah, she showed up anyway. <laughs> what do they call it? Party crasher? I think that's a party crasher. <laughs> Rafferty related to her colleagues that Maloney told her that she does not she does a lot of the organization and is always responsive when you call. She said that the congresswoman was unhappy, to say the least, that she was not invited to the swanky gathering. Well, I'd be a little upset, maybe. The ethics office said in a report that there is a substantial reason to believe that Maloney acted inappropriately in attempting to leverage an invitation. It added that if she indeed solicited or received improper gifts, she could be in violation of House rules, standards of conduct, and federal law. The representative is hardly a stranger to controversy. controversy. Recently, she was accused of carrying out a vendetta against the Washington Commander's NFL team through the power of the Oversight Committee. In 2009, she used the N-word, which I don't like, while recalling a phone conversation she had. Maloney will have plenty of time to pursue another line of work or meet gala tickets, or she will not be returning to the House. She was defeated in August Democratic primary by Rep Rep Representative Jared Nadler, Democrat of New York. These rich uppercase Congress representatives or whatever can crash a party? Okay. <laughs> oh my goodness. 
I do get tickled at some of these. Some of these I, I get teared up. Some I don't understand and some I loathe. But <laughs> I'll be back in just a few.